I started another school and it was like everything was computer based, but there was no teachers that would help you. And I was getting like the credits fast, but it just wasn't, I couldn't get the help if I needed it. If I had a question, I needed some answers, no one could help me. It was just like, take the test. If the answer is wrong, I'll unlock it. You can do it again. And that was not it for me because I wasn't learning. I had a lot of trouble in public schools. Um, I got into a lot of trouble, a lot of friends and just having too much fun, I guess you would say. And I didn't have too much expectation of going to college. Across the nation, millions of young people have either dropped out of school or are not making progress towards graduation. It's this fine line and balance between accountability and support. Students come in, we meet them where they are, uh, we recognize that there's a history before our school, that that history is not going to hold anyone back um, from being successful. So what can we learn from our experiences and build on those? We're really trying to focus our young people on, it's not about the high school diploma, it's about what's next. Everybody was thinking, no, I'll send them straight to work, and, and that's wonderful. And there's also uh, kind of we wanted to really push the field in saying, this population also can and does go to college. Nearly half of all job openings over the next decade are projected to require some post-secondary education and training. For this reason, a new pathway to support off-track students has become essential. Before, it seemed like we had, you know, your old-style alternative programs. And to the extent that people had a common language, they didn't have a common language so much about design, but these harder practice issues about how you deliver a quality education in what's been a second chance system and how you get them ready for college and how you support them to succeed in a place where they thought they'd never be. We didn't have that. And so we've created a really well-designed model that the networks have been putting in place, but also our other key scale partners like cities and districts and states and community colleges. This model, which can be used in designing or enhancing both diploma granting and GED programs, articulates three program phases that help young people achieve their post-secondary ambitions. Enriched preparation integrates high-quality college instruction with strong academic and social supports. Post-secondary bridging builds college-ready skills and provides informed transition counseling. And first-year support offers appropriate resources in the first year to ensure post-secondary persistence and success. This model, developed with our partners in the field, is currently being used to help previously off-track students accelerate learning so they can graduate college-ready with clear, supported pathways to post-secondary success. We looked on the academic side in terms of curriculum, what type of curriculum we had, where our weaknesses were to better prepare our students for post-secondary success. You can just see it, this metamorphosis almost, of students finding their own motivation and then also having the tools to leverage those two things in a powerful way. We start talking with our students about uh, post-secondary um, education which could be college, it could be a training program, it could be a vocational program, it could be the union, skills trade. We start that the minute they walk in the door of our program. I never heard of FAFSA in my life, so I was scared. I was like, I don't know what this means. I would have probably stopped going to college at this point because I would have seen my bill and thought I would be able to pay it. It's absolutely imperative that we do everything we can to help our target population succeed as students in community colleges. Fundamentally, this work is about legacy building because as our students transform into the dreams that they may have had to defer when they were disconnected from school, they are now back on track and literally building a new legacy for generations to come. And so that's why I think it's so important to our students. After the program, I actually went to Cambridge College and I graduated flying clothes, thank goodness. I became more positive. I learned that I am able to do plenty more than what I thought I was capable of. It definitely gave me the confidence to start my journey in life.